What's up guys, this is Dorad Boss, and today we are going to be building a restaurant. So, this restaurant is a little bit different from all the houses that I've built, because as you can see, I started off with the oak pillars as always, but I decided to put in some polished anastite instead of the regular wood for the walls instead. Well, so, this restaurant is going to be split up into four different parts, or five different parts if you include the bathroom. So, it's going to be slit into the terrace, which I'm building right now, as you can see. It's for customers to sit outside, enjoy the sunlight, whatever. Then the main dining area, which is inside, which is going to have most of the tables. Then there's the kitchen, obviously. The kitchen needs to be there for the chefs to actually cook the food. There's going to be the bathroom, as I mentioned. And there's also going to be a back room for storage or any of that other stuff. Now, if we move into the real dining room, as you can see, I put in six dual seating tables, and in the middle, I put in two quad seating uh, tables. But then I realized that this was kind of a small restaurant, and we didn't need that many tables, because obviously, as you can see from my surroundings, not many people are kind of actually come to my restaurant. So I decided to take out two of the dual seating tables and one of the quad seating tables and replace it with a kitchen. So as you can see, I built a kitchen like that so the chefs can actually see the customers and the customers can actually see the chefs and see what they're cooking and all that. I really like this design because I don't know if you've been to one in real life, but whenever I go to a restaurant and I can actually see the chefs cooking, makes me feel a lot better because I actually know what's going into my soup or whatever I'm eating at the restaurant. I think it's really cool and it also makes, well not makes, but it also allows the chef to connect with the customers and give them a more personalized uh, experience. So I'm just building the roof up now and it's a really simple roof, just a flat roof. But as you can see right there, I put in some redstone lamps because I realized that it was getting a little bit dark. Now here's a little tip for y'all people that don't have much redstone experience or just don't want to uh, deal with redstone. A great and nice looking way to put in some lighting to your builds is to put a redstone lamp down and then slap a daylight sensor right on top of it. So this what, what this will do is make a really nice looking minimalistic light and it won't take up too much space and it's really simple and it'll actually automatically turn off during the day. So as you can see I just finished building the bathroom and also the back room as you can see. The back room's not going to have anything in it because obviously it's just, just going to be used for storage. I mean you could put in a chest there but I mean what's the big deal? It doesn't really it's not really going to matter in the end. So now I'm just going to finish off the walls with andestay and some glass just so the chefs and the customers can see outside. And we're going to go back to the front. In the front I'm going to add another table on the left side because I just decided that there wasn't enough tables in the front. I think it looks a lot better with the first table. And then I'm going to add some fencing around the whole thing just to make it feel a little bit more secure. Now I'm going to go to the first person tour. Welcome to the first person tour of this restaurant, which I'm going to call Durad Restaurant, obviously, because my name is Durad Boss. So this is Durad Restaurant. Now, if we go up to here, the balcony or the terrace, whatever you want to call it, there's nothing much, just three tables, three dual seating tables that are nice if you just want to sit down outside, enjoy the sunlight, eat some food. Now, if we go inside here, we actually have the restaurant itself. So, as you can see, we have two dual seating tables here, one four seating table here, and then two dual seating tables over on that side. Now, what this is right here is like, you know, those greeters and help that help you get a table when you walk in the door. This is their table right here, so they can just help you. Usually, there would be a computer or iPad here. But I couldn't find something that looks like a computer or iPad. 
in the actual Minecraft game. So if we go back to the kitchen, as you can see, we have these little trapdoors for the doors, which I think has a really nice effect. Now, if we go here, as you can see, we have our little stove top and our ovens. And then over here, we have some sinks where you can wash your hands and prepare food. Now, if we go on this side, we have the little bathroom in here, just a little addition. That toilet's a bit big, but I still think it looks pretty good. And that's the sink, obviously. Now, if we go back here, there's nothing much. It's just a storage room. So eventually, if this was in real life, this storage room would get crowded with a bunch of junk, like cleaning supplies or some leftovers or just anything that a restaurant might need to keep inside the restaurant for quick access. So if we go back to the outside, just to show you the back side. So that pretty much wraps up the video. This restaurant was pretty fun build. It took me like 25 minutes. So yeah, remember to smash the like button and even subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching, Durad out.